on Carol's Kitchen DT the show. We're going to try uh, Guyanese cassava pone. Um, I know a lot of you make your cassava pone different. I myself do because I learned to make it from my mom. Um, the hands you see in the video is actually hers. So cassava pone is mainly made up of cassava, um, grated cassava, grated coconut, uh, some spices, essence, and a few good ingredients. So stay with me while we go through the process. And before we go though, let me just thank my sponsors, Sterling Products with Igloo Ice Cream. And of course today we are going to use um, lard or uh, shortening from Sterling Products, which is called Baker's Choice, and Golden Cream Margarine as well. Those are one, uh, two of the ingredients we're using today. So stay tuned, watch with me. We'll be right back. Friendship is the one thing I could never live without. How long has it been? 15 years? 16 years, girl. We have been friends ever since that day you appeared out of nowhere with my favorite. The good old days. So much has changed. Well, not everything. Igloo ice cream is still our number one comfort food. Igloo ice cream. Igloo ice cream. Igloo ice creams, making moments a magical memory. Cleaning power like no other. Mighty foam dishwashing liquid cuts through grease and grime every time. For great fragrances. Mighty Foam Dishwashing Liquid gets your dishes spotless and is gentle on your hands. So we're making cassava pone, which is one of the old school snacks, pastries that um, back in the day um, everyone would turn to really. So um, I went ahead and I grated the coconut and of course cassava pone is made with cassava and coconut. Those are the two main ingredients. And of course, as you guys know, Sterling products are our main sponsor. So we use everything that we can um, from their factory. So we're using Baker's Pride um, shortening or lard, whichever one you want to call it. And that's just, um, you see the amount she puts there. And this is the size pan that we're going to use. So you guys get an idea of how much coconut. So I think we just have like one coconut in there and about three pounds of cassava to give you the pan size that you'll see. So we're just opening a fresh tub of golden cream margarine once again from Sterling Products. And we're putting a healthy um, helping of three tablespoons. Now she's going to add brown sugar. The brown sugar gives uh, the, the cassava pone a nice flavor, um, nice color as well. Um, we just added in like a half a pound of sugar there. Because of course it's a sweet treat. You don't want it too sweet, you can put less sugar, but um, we're not skimping on this today. So she's just gonna sprinkle um, a couple of sprinkles of spice. Um, that's, um, this spice is just, people call it spice, but it's really cinnamon. So I just like to use cinnamon in my, um, my, my cassava bone. And of course you have to put, if you didn't, if you guys didn't know, you have to put a little drizzle of black pepper. Now, a lot of people probably didn't know this. So it actually does give the pone a little kick. And then she's gonna put some raisins. I like to put raisins in my cassava pone. You don't have to, but if you want, um, just to give it a little you know, special kick, you can, you can put the raisins or you don't have to put the raisins. Some people put cherries as well. But it's all up to you what, whichever one you wanna put or not put any at all. And then we're gonna add some mixed essence. Not a lot, just a few drops. So she measures it with the, um, the spoon so she doesn't over, over throw. 
So we're coming along nicely. Um, I've already gone ahead and basted the pan again with some lard so that when the pot is finished baking, it's not gonna stick to the pan and you'll get to cut it and take it out easily. So you just dump it right in there, all of it. And then like we were spreading out um, last week or um, when that show aired, you would have seen me spreading out the, um, the shepherd's pie just with the spoon, that's all you have to do. You just spread it out, make it level, make it even. Um, then um, my mom likes to get a fork when she's done, when it's smooth, and just put some marks on it. It's here! Igloo Ice Cream Fruit Bars. Four mouth-watering flavors. Mango, pineapple, strawberry, and soursop. A beautiful combination of real fruit and igloo ice cream. Go old school with Fluty Popsicle. Classic flavors and refreshing goodness. Available at Igloo Outlets and all your favorite shops. With 70% ethyl alcohol, Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer eliminates 99.99% .99 of all germs and even moisturizes in the process, leaving your skin clean and hydrated. Mighty Foam Hand Sanitizer. How do you stay clean? Igloo premium ice cream. Not all good things must come to an end. So there you have it, guys. Uh, we just finished making cassava food. It was delicious, or at least so um, the Louis say, because um, if you notice, he did the tasting. Um, he's quite enjoying it right now. We're finishing off the show. He's cleaning the plate, so you know it has to be good. Now, remember, I did it my way. You can do it your way, because I know some people put like ginger and different ingredients in their cassava phone. Some people don't put the raisins, they put cherries. Some people don't put anything at all. But all in all, it's every, every kind of phone is delicious to me. Um, remember, it's called cassava phone, for those of you who don't know and are not Guyanese. It's made mainly with cassava and coconuts. Once again, I would like to thank Sterling Products with Igloo Ice Cream and Yogurt. yogurt. And also we had used um, some Golden Green Margarine and some uh, Baker's Choice Shortening or Lard as we call it. So thank you again to Sterling Products. See you next week.